welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a hair appointment and I'm running late, but first I'm gonna go meet a friend for some coffee. Ooh. Running totally late. Ah. My hair is wet. Um, it does, yeah. I was running so behind, but I always like to have it washed and cleaned before I go get it done. I don't want like dirty hair. I don't, know. I don't even know if it matters, but like slopped my makeup on this morning. <laughs> like threw it on my face. I woke up at eight thinking I would have plenty of time, but I think I took like an hour long shower it feels like. And when I got out, I was running like a crazy person. My friend Allie is the one who does my hair. She does such a killer job and she's just gonna fix my roots up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna have her put some layers in. When I got it cut, like really like majorly cut in October, I got, it was just one length. And it's been growing since then. I haven't got any layers or anything really put in. So I think I'm gonna have her put some layers back in um, at this point, but who knows? I never know. I, I drive her insane. I always text her. I'm like, I wanna do this with my hair. I wanna do this with my hair. And then I'll get in the chair and I'm like, ah, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Let's just stick with the same old, same old. So, okay, Cor, go. Right now it's raining, so that's a good start. Uh, I'm supposed to be at the coffee shop in like 10 minutes and I know it's gonna at least take me 20 minutes to get there. <sighs> I'm gonna get to driving and I'll see y'all in a little bit. up we ate we ate two of those blueberry muffin bread things like oh, i love madison i feel like i haven't seen her oh i gotta get over i feel like i haven't seen her in ages she is the sweetest little soul i'm now headed to get my hair done my hair is still wet so hopefully it'll dry before i get there but did anyone else watch The Bachelorette last night and just feel like, I feel like I was cheated on too. Like I invested, I watched every Monday from night one, ready for her. Like I was invested. I was right along there with her to find her a husband, find her a man, find her somebody. And then she gets all the way to the end Per, he proposes to her, Jed, little jingle dog food crap mess. <laughs> and then she finds out that he has a girlfriend. And then whenever at the end of the, ep well, the end of the episode when they met up in Greece and they were like talking, or LA, they were talking in the hotel room, he wasn't even, he didn't really even care. He was like, yeah, I, I mean, I did I'd get on the show thinking I would enhance my career he just said all like he admitted to everything that was in the people magazine <laughs> i didn't think nothing of that relationship with her i mean we just went on a few vacations she met my parents i told her i loved her i slept with her a few times but like it just wasn't nothing to me like it really wasn't much what we're back to square one before the show and after the show she's in the same spot i feel so bad for her but Tyler, that if they get together, that will be a very good thing. But it was not the only one last night. Y'all should go rewatch it. But whenever Hannah was all giddy and smiling and saying how, like, I'm single and he's attractive, Tyler didn't seem that enthusiastic. Or was it just me? He didn't seem like, I mean, he was saying very sweet things, but he was just kind of like, you dumped me and now I'm your second choice. Like, his face kind of, he didn't light up like a firework whenever she was like, we should go on a date. He was just kind of like, I'd love it. Like he would, I don't, or maybe, maybe I'm thinking wrong, but Jed, and if y'all, have y'all heard his music? I'm not gonna, okay, let's just not, let's just not talk crap. I'm not gonna talk crap. We're not gonna talk crap, not today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know where the freak I'm going. 
Oh, and also, she looked so good. I think that heartache did good for her. I mean, that was a well cleanse or something she went on because her arms were defined. Her waist was like snatched. Her skin looked good. Her hair looked good. Hannah glow like she like a flower. I think when she was on Colton season, the seed got planted and then she was slowly growing, but she didn't have quite enough. She wasn't like fully a flower yet. And then when she became the bachelorette, like when they announced that, she slowly grew a little bit more, maybe a little water on it, a little bit more fertilizer when that opportunity came around. And then by the end of it, she was like a hydrangea. Like she is blossom. Is that a hydra hydrangea? Hydrangea? Had I'm 30 minutes early to my appointment. Who am I? Who have I turned into? What is this? Pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm gonna kill like 10 more minutes, then I'll go in. Let's see what's on the radio. Oh my god. Allie did so good. Oh. If you're in the Charlotte area, or actually, if you're just living in North Carolina, just make the drive. <laughs> Come to Allie. She does such good jobs. Ugh. Some people have asked, like, what lip gloss do I wear a lot? And I've always wear, um, I put lip liner on, a bunch of different lip liners, and I'll put um, the Fenty Gloss Balm on. It's really, really good. And you can wear it by itself. You don't have to put a lip liner on with it. This is what I'm wearing all the time. In 98% of my videos, I'm wearing this gloss with, like, a different liner. If you wear it with, like, a darker liner, it kind of, it, it it complements any liner. So you can wear it with like a brown, a pink, even like a red, anything, a plum. But this is more of like a darker pink lip liner I've got on. But anyways, now I just ordered some sushi. So now I'm gonna go, well Gibson's still at work. So I'm gonna go pick up the sushi and hopefully by the time I get it, if I can time it right, I'll pick up the sushi and then he'll be off work. I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> My version of cooking is going to pick up sushi, so. Gib has a public service announcement. What is it? I'm gonna recommend this beer. It's a Heavy Seas Tropicana IPA. You boys. Where are we at? It. We're at the Flying Saucer in Charlotte, North Carolina. Perfect. The University area. Yeah. <laughs> See Bye, ya. Joe. Bye. Love you.